I'm live streaming, and as usual, you can find these live streams on my Twitch channel the next 14 days after I've streamed them, or um, Nightbot provided the link to my YouTube channel, and I will provide it again. So, uh, let me move my thing a little over. Which I did. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go for country cookbooks for 800. I don't know. I got that wrong. What's the answer? Okay, let's go with the thousand one for next. There's a recipe for Huh, is it Loretta Lynn? Yeah, wow, it is. Fish, mammal, or bird. The honey creeper sounds like a mammal. I was thinking of like a badger or bear. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like I said something offensive, but if I did, I do apologize. I didn't mean to. So it's a bird. Fish, bird, or mammal. The skate. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. So I don't know when I. Wow. It's probably going to be a fish. That's my next guess. Yep, it was a fish. Should have went with that. Is this a fish? No, it's not. I want to say it's a mammal, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's a mammal, actually. Cool. So, what scientists created? Is this Frankenstein? Yes, it is. So, we got lucky there. Let's go country cookbooks for 600. I don't know why I chose that, but I'm glad I did now. Little House Cookbook features Frontier Foods from this woman's class of story. I should know. I, I, I've i seen... Shoot. Why do I feel like I've seen like a part of a TV show or read the part of the books myself? Oh, this is definitely Elvis. Let's go classic novel spoilers. Owning a ranch. I don't know why I was thinking of George Orwell's Animal Farm, but that's not the plot, obviously. I really need to start reading more. Here's a classic I've never re actually read of Mice or Men. Fish, mammal, or bird. This is definitely a bird. I feel like I've heard this before. I don't. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, what is the bongo?
mammal. Wow, it's not a map or whatever our eye shows. It's not that. It's not a mammal. So player three is going to be able to get this correct. It's a fish. I should have went with a fish. Trading places. I know there's a show called Trading Places, Boys vs. Girls. It's an old Discovery Kids show. This is St. Louis. Let's, uh, finish this up. Earnshaw Hall and Falls for Kathy Love Thwart. This awfully sounds like Romeo and Juliet, but I want to say to have and not have, which is obviously not the answer. Is it Pride and Prejudice? Okay, so I vaguely heard. I, I know Pride and Prejudice. Okay, it's not Pride and Prejudice. I don't remember if I read the book. I don't think I did, but. Wuthering Heights. That's like novel spoilers for 400. I got lucky there. Heard of two of those books, Daily Double. So let's go, uh, 778 dollars. Huh. That one made the most sense, but. Go trading places for a thousand. Chicago butter and egg board. I'm gonna get this one wrong. Called it. But that that made ex that made sense. I mean, I don't know why I said exchange, but it made sense. So we're back to controlling the board, and since we already got the only daily double of this round, um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I was thinking of Borneo, but I'm not really sure where that is. I'm guessing it would be in Africa. I mean, Borneo, is, I, I would think, is in Asia, but... I guess this empire is in Africa. Um, let's go for 400. Frank Fritz Ross marked was the side of this. Being also a term for hard bargaining. Nope, I'm just getting them wrong. This isn't good. Hog trading? Nope. So we're nearly $4,000 under, actually. That's bad. Horse trading. See, this Grand Bazaar was built in 1461. So I'm going to Constantinople. Okay, I'm going to go with Istanbul, actually. Let's go uh, electric company for a thousand. Open a steam power electricity generating station. Thomas Edison. Made in. 
If he didn't invent it, he probably took credit for it. So on today, this power company was one of the first in 1896. And I don't know how to pronounce the word before in and after the. I got lucky there. Using direct current, the U.S. is the U.S. metropolis first electric to power with the Pearl Street Power Station in 1882. Almost one with Chicago. World's first public electricity supply was provided in 1881 to a city in this country. I'm guessing U.S. to Great Britain. Oh, yeah, it was England. Okay. Some info. Duke Energy headquarters in this state brings electric power to 4 million people. 4 million people. North Carolina. That one made the most sense for me. Let's go number, please. 44th. So Grover, uh, so Grover Cleveland is recognized as the 22nd and 24th president. He served two terms, but not consecutively. Eight or 80? Yeah, so that's why I know it Barack Obama. I'm gonna go with 800, which I got right. Highest number you can throw away with just one standard die. So this has to be with six. A cumulative count, you get a total of 304. Oh, I don't know the name of the song. Twelve Days of Christmas? Okay, now I remember. Number, please, for 200. Please, minutes. Oh, 60. So we're following the positive, leaving player two behind. Player two has to at least get, depending on the value, one or two questions correct if she wants to move on to final jeopardy. <coughs> Royalty on film for 400. As the queen, as this queen and queen, the queen. Lucky guess. Hepburn was the lion in the winter. Chronicles of Narnia? No. I don't know why in my head went to chron uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Was him in a man for all seasons. Yeah, that one makes the most sense to me. Dunn says the two thousand in this title queen. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Oh, I got lucky there. Kate Blanchett in 1998 as the title as this title queen. Dang it! All three would make good guesses, I think. So that's why. But I'm gonna guess Catherine the Great as a uh, good uh, movie subjects. Elizabeth the first. Let's go in the dictionary system. This tech acronym states that in the integrity of output is dependent on the integrity of the input. Should I don't know. USB. That's my guess. 
Oh, it's not. Oh, I would have gone wrong with my first and second guess. So, player two, or not player two, player three gets it right. So, player two needs to answer at the very least two questions for sure if she wants to make the final jeopardy. In the dictionary for four hundred loud expression, this for this Neil Rose cheer. Bronx. Think of the New York Yankees. A dried and smoked ripe jalapeno pepper, which is a dark reddish brown, strong with a. I don't know. Um, it's not. It's not Chipotle. Maybe it is Chipotle. I'm gonna minimize my screen a little bit. My, uh, not my screen, my camera. It's Chipotle, isn't it? I was thinking of the, the restaurant logo where they have a bright red. A hinged plastic case designed to hold a co compact is usually a printed insert or liner. Nope, that's wrong. So I'm going to be doing only one game of Jeopardy today. The drill case. Yeah, that makes sense. I need to start stepping it up if I'm going to get the daily doubles. Huh. Anyway, um, so shoot, uh, 1940s. That was a lucky guess. I almost chose the 1930s. Daily double. Let's go. Let's go. Four thousand three hundred and seventy-eight. Aerosmith and the Age of Innocence. I'm guessing this is a little 1930s is what I'm going to guess. Nope. 1910s? 20s. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. The Agony and the Ecstasy and You Only Live Twice. 1950s probably. No, the 60s will make the most sense. So we have to get a question correctly. So I managed to lose just about all the money I had. I don't know why I didn't think of that. In the West, the ninja combat weapon known as Shuriken, also called throwing. I'm so happy we got that right, but we're not going to get mar martial arts out of the way. I'm thinking at least post uh, post 40s. So 80s, yeah, that would make the most sense. Jaws and Jonathan Livingston Seal. 70s. Because of the movie Jaws. I don't know why. Like the previous one, I thought it was due to the Soviet Union. Something related to that. I don't know why. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Let's go 1,585. Confirm. Official self defense of this Mideast country's defense forces. Oh wow. Let's go martial arts for 2000. A Balkan and Shana are two of these souls using this Japanese whose name means way of the sword. I'll probably know this when I see this. Kendo, yeah. Getting our money back. 
the folding okay what is the insect name lucky guess there yeah like I said if I if I offend anyone I, I apologize karate elbow so if I apologize uh, I mean, if I fit into one, I apologize. That's what I mean. I say. Anyway, with respect to anyone moving on, let's go. Uh, did you plan it that way for 400? Orbiting about 67 million miles to the second planet from the sun. Um, let's go. Venus. Well, I don't know why I almost went on Mercury, but it was Venus. This moon Ganymede is the largest in the solar system. Saturn. No, it's Jupiter. I believe it's Jupiter. You learn something new every day, kids. You learn something new every day. So Gandhi means the largest moon. These things play in the solar system it would actually float if you could. Either Uranus or Neptune. I'm gonna go with Uranus. That's wrong. So it's probably Neptune. I don't think it would be Saturn because of the ring around it. Okay, it is Saturn. Two thousand five NASA experiment with the low pressure greenhouse to go planets on this carbon dioxide rich planet. I'm guessing Mars. Let's actually see if it is. Yep, it's Mars. Do you plan it that way? The first planet discovered in modern times. Oh, it's Uranus. So I know we humans set uh, discovered Uranus before, or whichever one is the correct answer before uh, they humans step even step even before they step foot on Antarctica. So yes, Uranus. Vienna's imperial palace name is the home to the president Mozart's time. It is home to the head of state of the Archduchess. Hmm. Nope. And you know what? We I plan on having the did you plan it that way category and the historical names last, so been buried with the head of this utopia author, her father. Thomas More? Ooh, we got that one right. Ooh, I should know this when I see this name. And I, even if we get these three questions wrong, we won't go below zero. Uh, Constantine. This Apache tried to keep peace with the I don't mean to laugh, but I, I apologize if I offended anyone. Hmm. Coaches. It's one of the. It, technically, it's no longer exists, but it's one of the Vietnams. North or South of Vietnam. 
It's not South Vietnam, or it's not North Vietnam, because they were communists, I believe. So yeah, I apologize for offending anyone. Final Jeopardy, so we're taking part in that. Household products, so let's go, uh, 4,534. So yeah, once again, I apologize for offending anyone. According to the earliest ads, less than 1% made up of carbon and minimum amount of uncombed alkaline. Let's go, I want to say Tide. Ah, uh, it's not Tide. I should have wanted Mr. Clean then. No, it's ivory soap. So, yeah. I'm going to hop off, y'all. Thanks for watching, and bye. Let me know what you think. Once again, sorry for offending anyone.